I'm here to give you Allie's tip of the month for August. It's not necessarily an exercise, but an exercise for your heart. So not physical, but for your heart, your soul, your mindset. Um, I want to challenge everyone to think about gratitude and and first of all just having a grateful heart and how that can transform you from the inside out. So having a grateful heart for the, even the smallest of things, you know, we all have bad days and turning that around and being grateful for the smell of the ocean or, you know, your pet or grateful for just the smell of coffee even and really letting that transform your day. So I wanna challenge you, number one, to every morning speak out loud three gratitudes that you have and see what that will do. And the second, and how gratitude affects your attitude with aging. So um, everyone, you know, we all have numerical ages. Uh, some of us might not like those new, uh, numbers, but I want you to really think about aging as a gift. Not everyone has, unfortunately has the gift of aging and living another day. So I want you to think about how aging is a gift. And there's a study, really great study. I'm gonna read it really quick that, um, that, let's see, let me find this. Um, yeah, that just studied people who think positively about aging live longer and feel better. So not only exercise helps you live longer, but your thoughts on how you positively think about aging. So in a long-term study of 660 people over the age of 50 in a small Ohio town, this doctor um, and some fellow researchers found that those who had positive perceptions on aging lived an average of seven and a half years longer, um, which is a bigger increase than that associated with exercise and smoking. So I'll post that so you can read it, but um, just some things to think about for this month of August, gratitude and your attitude on aging. Thanks.